to my channel if you're a returning subscriber and thank you so much for your support but if you're new here you are welcome please before you leave this channel remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends today's video is going to be very very interesting because i'm going to be sharing with you the facts about dating east african women i'm among them <laughs> so if you've been wondering how are east african women or what are those important things that you should know before you date an east african lady are they good in bed <laughs> the goodies <laughs> are they wife material or oh, they are gold diggers <laughs> So we are going to be discussing all that even untold culture about East African women and you all know that when I talk of something I go very deep into it so we are going to go very very deep into East African women and I hope today my fellow East African women won't use this proverb on me <laughs> an enemy of a woman is a woman <laughs> Don't use that proverb on me, please, after this video, cause it's the real talk, guys, and we're going to have fun. I'm not intending to offend any East African lady or other ladies out there, not at all. We are here to have life experience, clear some people's assumptions. Without wasting much of your time, let us jump into our video. <laughs> so, dear friends, there are so many East African countries and if i discuss them all here in this video it won't end <laughs> so i'm going to be discussing only three east african countries which are tanzania kenya and uganda and because they say charity begins at home so i'm going to be starting with tanzania my beautiful country i'm a tanzanian guys if you did not know so what are those facts that you should know before you date a Tanzanian lady. Let us start with number one. Fact number one about Tanzanian women, they are very, very beautiful with light skinned. <laughs> if you take coffee and mix it with milk, the color that you'll get, that is the color of most Tanzanian women. But you can also find very melanin skinned Tanzanian ladies for example, the Maasai women. But the majority of Tanzanian women are light-skinned, very beautiful, with curvy shape. And this is due to intermarriages because Tanzania has got different countries that have settled in Tanzania, like the Indians, the Arabians in Zanzibar. When they mix with local Tanzanians and make babies, <laughs> The babies that comes out, they are very... Also in Tanzania, there is no restrictions that you cannot go and marry outside your country. So due to that, if we mix with Kenyans, the kids that comes out are very, very beautiful. So that itself tells you why Tanzanian ladies are very beautiful. Fact number two about dating a Tanzanian lady or things that you should know about Tanzanian women is that marriage is a big deal to tanzanian women <laughs> so if you're going to date a tanzanian lady make sure you marry her to make her happy you can't just date her for so long without marrying her she might end up leaving you because marriage is very very important this is because when a tanzanian lady gets married she earns a lot of respect from everyone around her, starting from the parents, the relatives, friends, everyone respects her because she is married. That is why Tanzanian ladies take marriage as a very big deal. <laughs> Not only that, guys, when a lady reaches 25 years old without getting married in Tanzania, then everyone around her starts to talk bad about her some people start calling her a pro some people start telling her that she is getting old without getting married a lot of stress guys <laughs> so that is why you will find that if a lady reaches 25 years old 26 28 even 30 without getting married 
it's a problem a lady can even get depression or she can have a very tough life due to the people surrounding her giving her stress why she isn't married yet she is getting old <laughs> so this pushes most Tanzanian ladies to find love before they get old and the age that they consider that the lady is too old to get married is if she reaches 30 years old <laughs> this is so funny because here in Europe I've seen even 60 years old ladies still have hope in love searching for love still hoping to get married but when you compare with Tanzanian ladies or Tanzania as the society how they think of a 30 years old woman not married it's a very very bad image that they put on these Tanzanian ladies so guys Tanzanian women consider marriage as a big deal <laughs> fact number three about Tanzanian women guys today we must put our CV here in this video <laughs> So that any man that is coming outside East Africa can know how are East African ladies. We must tell them our assets. <laughs> Jokes aside guys, Tanzanian women knows how to take care of a man. So if you're planning to marry a Tanzanian lady, be rest assured that she is a good woman, a wife material, <laughs> a good cook. <laughs> All that guys most Tanzanian ladies knows how to take care of a man knows how to take care of the family though we can't miss out some lazy Tanzanian ladies <laughs> whereby you will find them seated the whole day on the couch watching TV they have dadas when I say dadas meaning that they have house helps what they do is calling the whole day dada bring this dada bring this and this reminds me story time so there was a girl who was dating a white man and this white man went to africa to visit this lady and she took the guy to her family to introduce this guy so as the guy was there <laughs> they wanted to buy some sodas and and other things to eat so the girl was seated and she was calling dada all the time she was like dada go to the shop and buy some soda dada bring this dada dada come and remove the plates so after everything this white man told this told this black tanzanian lady that i am very worried if i will continue this relationship with you because it seems you are very lazy <laughs> i've been there i see you calling the house help all the time to bring things go here do that do. when i marry you there won't be a house help you have to do everything on your own will you be able to take care of our garden will you be able to cook for me when i return back from work i find dinner at home will you be able to do that i don't think so so it's better we end this relationship here you are not for me so sometimes you won't miss out those ladies who are spoiled because <laughs> of using the household but majority of tanzanian ladies knows how to take care of a man and any new woman is a woman please don't use this proverb on me <laughs> fact number four about tanzanian women if you are planning to marry a Tanzanian lady or date a Tanzanian lady then you should know that they are very very good in bed <laughs> majority guys are very very good in bed and I'll tell you why so in Tanzania we have some tribes whereby they have this culture of teaching ladies at the younger age when they reach the age of 15 they do a party and teach this young lady on how to be good in bed the moves guys how she should move on the bed <laughs> move that waistline <laughs> very very well we are so good in that most of Tanzanian ladies they also teach her how to handle a man <laughs> how to take an ice cream in bed <laughs> So guys, Tanzanian ladies are very very good in bed, they are good dancers, they can really dance very very 
well we are good in moving the waistline the waistline move oh my god very very excellent so if you're planning to date or marry a Tanzanian lady you should know that she is super good in bed though we have some tribes like the Chaga where I come from <laughs> they don't teach us they don't teach us how to be good in bed they just teach us generally how you should handle a man how you should take care of the family so when we grow up and get exposure <laughs> from those who were taught at the age of 15 they even teach us who didn't know anything about being good in bed so if you marry a Tanzanian lady she will be very very good in bed <laughs> they teach us so you can pay someone before you get married and then she teaches you everything these ladies that teach the lessons of how to be good in bed <laughs> and take care of your husband handle him very well <laughs> call her kungwe <laughs> that is the teacher or the lady who teaches how to be good in bed kungwe <laughs> Fact number five, if you're planning to marry or date a Tanzanian lady, you should know this. There is paying bride price in Tanzania. <laughs> you will have to pay for your woman that you want to marry. <laughs> so in Tanzania, we have a lot of tribes and every tribe has its own culture so i'm going to give you an example of the chaga tribe where i come from about the bride price you will have to write an introduction letter to tell the lady's side who are you where are you coming from what job do you do and the intention of marrying their daughter <laughs> and in that letter you will have to put 10,000 Tanzanian shillings and above <laughs> the person that is supposed to take that letter to the lady's side will be either your father or your bigger brother or your best friend <laughs> and when the girl's side receives the letter there will be some drinks a little party and after that they are not going to answer you that day that yes you can marry our daughter not at all you will have to wait one week or two <laughs> to be answered and after one week or two weeks the person that brought the letter to the girl's side will have to go back and take the answer if it is a yes they will tell you what they need you to pay as a bride price whereby you are supposed to give some vitenge the african print cloth whereby it is for auntie and grandma then for the sisters you have to give kanga it is also an african print cloth but the lighter one so it will be given to the sisters then for the mother you will have to give a blanket you will have to bring mbege that is chaga drink it's alcohol called mbege you have to take some crates of sodas <laughs> or milk plus money they'll have to tell you some amount that you need to pay but it doesn't mean that you have to pay all that amount you can pay as you can and after you have paid everything then they will allow you to engage that lady and marry her so there is bride price if you are dating a lady from tanzania if she tells you you have to pay bride price don't get surprised because that is our culture but again guys if a tanzanian lady that you are dating is very very considerate and she can try to talk to the parents and pay some few things or not pay at all but you just know in tanzania you have to pay bride price in order to marry a lady <laughs> Fact number six about Tanzanian women and because I always talk about online dating so if you're on online dating apps and you are searching for a black woman or a Tanzanian lady expect this not all Tanzanian ladies know how to speak English we don't speak that good English we are not fluently in English this is because in Tanzania we use Swahili as a national language. So Swahili is taught in school till primary level. So when you go to secondary school, that is when they start teaching you English. 
but when you go home everywhere you go it is Swahili that we use to communicate <laughs> it's only at school secondary school and university level but when you are at home even in most offices in Tanzania they use Swahili so that is why you'll find a Tanzanian lady having difficulty in speaking English or in writing in English because we use Swahili even for those of you who want to meet these Tanzanian ladies in real life not on online dating apps expect that we are not good in English guys <laughs> fact number eight about Tanzanian ladies we believe that a man should take care of the family yes guys but that one doesn't mean that tanzanian ladies don't work we work guys but it is a man's responsibility to take care of the family <laughs> if you marry a tanzanian lady and you lose your job don't worry she will work and take care of the family because we are nice ladies very very nice very understanding so guys country number two kenya how are kenyan ladies facts about dating a kenyan ladies what should you expect when you date a kenyan lady fact number one fact number one about kenyan ladies or kenyan women is that they are very strong in character and they know their rights they know how to stand for their rights they know how to say no when they say no it's no not like tanzanian ladies that we are too nice <laughs> even sometimes we get manipulated you will never be able to manipulate a kenyan lady they are very strong in character they know how to stand for their rights if they say no it is no and they mean it <laughs> even there is a time when i was in tanzania i used to hear that Kenyan ladies beat their husbands <laughs> so some Kenyan men used to come to Tanzania to marry Tanzanian ladies because they are too strong and they know how to stand for their rights I really love this about Kenyan ladies <laughs> no man will play games on you <laughs> so this girl is at home and she comes in between my video oh to do her jobs motherhood <laughs> bye fact number three about kenyan ladies is that they know how to speak good english they are fluently in english so if you're on online dating apps and you come across a kenyan lady be rest assured that she will write to you in english very good <laughs> and she will talk to you in english good english you'll be able to understand each other if you are an english speaker unlike tanzanian ladies like i explained before and this is because in kenya they teach both english and swahili in schools from the younger age guys till university fact number three about kenyan ladies is that they are very hard working they don't believe that only a man should work to take care of the family both of us should work and bring food on the table especially those who are educated guys they don't have that belief only the ones maybe who stay in rural areas they believe that a man should provide for a woman but most kenyan ladies who are educated they are very hard working guys they know how to look for money <laughs> so kenyan ladies are very hard working and this reminds me when i was still in tanzania i used to hear my friends telling me if a kenyan lady takes your husband or your boyfriend you will never be able to get that boyfriend or husband back <laughs> but guys after getting to know kenyan ladies i think they used to say that because Kenyan ladies are so good here. They are very intelligent. For us, we are very good in bed, but <laughs> if your man goes to a Kenyan lady cause she's so good here, you'll never get that man back. <laughs> so fact number five about dating a Kenyan lady 
or if you want to know how are Kenyan ladies what to expect if you want to date or marry a Kenyan lady then you should know that it can be too expensive to marry a Kenyan lady I'm going to explain to you why this is because in Kenya if a lady is very well educated parents took this lady to school till university level then they hire the dowry <laughs> if this lady is very very beautiful then they hire the dowry if the man is rich if the man that wants to marry this girl is rich then they hire the dowry as the dowry you are going to pay big money to marry a kenyan lady though not all kenyan ladies believe in bride price believe in a man paying for dowry for her so if you come across a girl who doesn't believe in that then good for you but paying dowry bride price in kenya it's a very important culture guys <laughs> fact number five about kenyan ladies or things you should know before you date or marry a kenyan woman is that they love their country very much and they will show you how they love their country so if you are planning to marry a lady from kenya and maybe take this lady to your country be rest assured that she will always be talking about kenya the good things in kenya the weather everything and even comparing kenya to the country that you took her to live in your country <laughs> Fact number six about Kenyan ladies or things you should know if you want to date or marry a Kenyan lady they are very beautiful most of them are tall dark skinned slim <laughs> with athletic bodies they are really really beautiful they really really love their ducks they take care of it I haven't seen much skin bleaching in Kenya most Kenyan ladies accept their skin as it is and they are very proudly of it then guys country number three let's go to the pearl of africa uganda <laughs> so fact number one about ugandan women fact number one about dating or if you plan to marry a ugandan lady things that you should know or what to expect is that ugandan ladies are very well mannered some people have heard of some people saying that they worship men but that's not true guys i'm going to tell you why i'm saying it's not true in uganda ladies are taught from the younger age to respect men that's the culture guys it has got nothing to do with worshiping a man it's the culture how they do things for example in uganda a lady cannot greet an elder or the husband while standing up you will have to kneel down <laughs> <laughs> you kneel down greet this man or if you're going to serve food to your husband you are supposed to kneel down and serve him food <laughs> after you have served food if he talks to you you have to remain down when he finishes then you can stand up but please don't judge these women and call them names tell them that they worship men it's not like that it's the culture <laughs> what can they do that is how the elders have told these ladies to behave so ugandan women are very well mannered guys <laughs> fact number two about ugandan ladies if you are planning to marry a lady from uganda what should you expect how are they <laughs> so ugandan ladies are very soft and kind and sometimes most of them don't know how to stand for their rights compared to kenyan ladies guys a kenyan lady knows how to stand for her right knows how to say no but ugandan ladies are very soft and kind that they think everyone is like them <laughs> I'm going to give you an example there is a Ugandan lady who was chatting to a white man and this white man was really disrespecting this girl using very vulgar language and telling her very very weird things but the girl continued chatting with a guy telling her please stop <laughs> stop please <laughs> so when she sent 
me the screenshots i was so angry <laughs> my blood started boiling with anger <laughs> Due to the language the guy was using and the girl was tolerating all that I told this lady the guy is a player. She was like no how comes but he seems nice <laughs> Because guys if that white man that was using vulgar language on this Ugandan lady If he was chatting to a Kenyan lady that day was going to be his worst day on the dating site Because a Kenyan lady can't stand that she cannot accept a man to disrespect her and say, please stop. <laughs> so please, my dear sisters from Uganda, not all white men are honest. Not all men are honest and kind like you are. <laughs> you have to be strong a little bit so that you can, you know, you can fit, especially in this online dating world. Fact number three about Ugandan ladies, if you want to marry or you want to date a girl from Uganda, you should know this. And guys, this is the untold culture. Most people don't know it. So I know some of you will hear this first from me. <laughs> guys, I feel shy. <laughs> the good is, so the goodies part, guys, in Uganda, Uganda has got different tribes but i'm going to talk about the baganda tribe when it comes to the goodies of a lady <laughs> but even ankoli tribe some ladies do this so when a girl reaches the age of 12 remember i told you in tanzania they teach us how to make those moves in the bed when you're with your man but in uganda when a girl reaches the age of 12 the aunt of that girl teaches that girl how to make her goodies feel warm and tasty when she sleeps with her husband and what they do guys they pull the goodies down there there are two two sides if you're a lady you will understand me so they are two sides inside the goodies two sides down there so they pull those sides to be long like like my finger <laughs> like my finger guys they pull it to be very very long so this auntie helps this girl to pull those both sides they believe guys it's their culture that when a lady has those long let us call them wings <laughs> when she has those long wings in her goodies then a ugandan man will find her very very warm and tasty so most ugandan men especially the baganda tribe will marry a lady who has that though guys in our today's world there are some ugandan ladies who don't have those wings <laughs> maybe they don't believe in that culture and all that but if you date or you want to marry a ugandan lady and you see those wings don't get scared, don't get terrified. It's the culture and Ugandan men really loves that. <laughs> Fact number four, if you are interested in Ugandan women or you want to date, marry a Ugandan lady, then you should know this. There is paying the bride price. And in Uganda, they use more animals as the bride price, as the dowry. <laughs> If you want to marry a girl from Baganda tribe, yes, there is writing a letter and that letter will be taken to the aunt of the girl. Then the aunt will have to take the letter to the father of the girl, read that letter. But on the day you are taking the letter to the aunt, you will have to go with some things, gifts like sugar. I'm told you can even go with 50 kilos of sugar. <laughs> to take the letter to the aunt, to take the letter to the aunt and introduce your man to your aunt, give that letter to the aunt, then the aunt will take the letter to the father, the father will read the letter, after that they will tell you what they want you to pay as the bride price. But I'm also told in Baganda culture, if a girl is virgin, then you will have to pay a cow and a goat but if a girl is not virgin then you have to pay dowry only a cow guys <laughs> no goat because <laughs> the goodies were taken before <laughs> 
if you want to marry a girl from Ankole tribe in Uganda, if they tell you you have to bring 10 cows, it means that those 10 cows will be accompanied with goats, 10 goats. So 10 cows, 10 goats, 20 cows, 20 goats. <laughs> So after bringing the dowry to the parents of the girl, they will allow you to marry that girl. Another thing that is so funny that I was told is that an auntie of the lady, meaning the sister of the father of the lady, can share a man with her. <laughs> so guys, if you want to marry a girl from Uganda, then you know that there is paying dowry. If they tell you you have to pay some cows, some goats, <laughs> ask you money because those goats or cows are accompanied also with money. <laughs> So if a man is rich, the father of the girl can even ask for a car <laughs> from you. <laughs> oh my God, our culture. Very interesting, guys. Fact number four about Ugandan women is that they are very simple to live with. They are not complicated at all because they have a very good character. Fact number five about Ugandan ladies is that they are very beautiful, dark skinned, tall, with curvy shapes, guys. Very, very beautiful. And if you're someone who don't like ladies who applies a lot of makeup or who applies makeups, then a Ugandan lady is the one to go for because they don't apply too much makeup. This is something that I have observed with Ugandan ladies. They are very naturally beautiful. <laughs> Fact number six about Ugandan ladies, they believe a man should take care of the family or of the wife, but I'm told nowadays Ugandan men have become very irresponsible, <laughs> that it's the ladies that works for men. <laughs> On online dating apps, I've received a lot of accusations that Ugandan ladies ask money a lot, a lot. <laughs> so guys, if you know you are a Ugandan lady, you are online dating apps and you ask men money, please stop because you are ruining your image, the image of all Ugandan ladies. Because it's not all Ugandan ladies that ask men money on online dating apps, but some of you who ask then you ruin the image of all of them that they are gold diggers they ask men money <laughs> so guys if you're on online dating apps you're a white man you are a black man you are searching or you are interested in a ugandan lady this shouldn't threaten you this shouldn't make you lose interest in ugandan ladies because not all ugandan ladies ask for money on online dating apps to make things clear on this. <laughs> Dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video till now. I really appreciate your time. God bless you. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are so good. Comment below what you think about this video. If you are a lady from East Africa, what are other facts that I forgot to give? Tell us your assets. <laughs> I love you so much, guys. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.